Yes, Count. I mean, what does that tell you, if anything, about what indeed investors have been demanding in this environment? Carson, it is a quite a big discount, especially if we have a look at the last trade of Price Waco Entertainment, which is at four dollars and forty-nine. This one for five renounceable offer will be at a, a twenty-seven percent discount, so at three dollars and thirty cents. So, if we have a look at Echo Entertainment share price from when it uh, floated, if we have a look at. Uh, Echo, and I'll just bring up the share price here. This is a two-year chart for Echo Entertainment, and you can see just how steep that discount is. Having said that, Echo's entertainment share price has very much been supported by hopes of a takeover battle between Crown Casino as well as Genting Singapore, and it does look like Crown will take up that 10% stake. However, given that we have seen some new forecasts flowing through, there are going to be adjustments to analyst uh, targets in terms of EBITDA. I, I guess we were expecting to see a number of more around the 350 375 million dollar mark but we have seen a downgrade today they are expecting to see earnings before interest tax depreciation and amortization at 270 to 315 million dollars that compares to the last financial year where we saw it sitting at 400 million dollars but of course if we have a look at the value of echo entertainment it does come from its licenses and the potential to expand its VIP business and Sydney as well as the Gold Coast are both attractive markets for that. If we have a look at what the funds are going to be used for. They are trying to modify a syndicated facility that they have and they've put a due date of the 28th of June on that. Now if they're unable to agree to terms by the 28th of June, it does look like they are going to try and pay out that facility. So a lot of it is going towards restructuring uh, its capital structure. But altogether, I think the market's going to be relieved to hear the details of this capital raising. We've seen Echo Entertainment in a trading hold since uh, Tuesday. So I guess the market was getting a little bit jittery, but it does look like those negotiations with the US debt holders is what was holding it up. Yeah, multiple time zones and all that don't help matters, as you know. Let's talk about a short and trading week, a reflection on what's gone on and how things are all set for what's going to be a very interesting Monday session. It is going to be a very interesting Monday session because we do see quite a bit of event risk over the weekend. But in the week to date so far, I guess the biggest thing that stood out are the low volumes that have gone through. Yesterday on the market, we saw less than $3 billion worth of stock being traded in all week. It's been dismal volumes. So we have been looking at holiday-like volumes in this shortened week. If we have a look at the trading week, the very shortened trading week. We are down half a percent in the week to date. And if I just change it to that uh, week to date view, this is what it looks like. Despite my futures are pointing up 0.6%, so it does look like we may finish in the black for the week. But if we have a look at a via sector performance, utilities was the best performing area, while we did see the telecom sector the worst performing area on the market. So really no clear detectable trends, because these are both defensive areas of the market, and one was the best performing sector and one was the worst performing sector. But if we have a look at the big moves in terms of stock prices this week, it tells a different story, and that is that uh, capital raisings have been bad news for stock prices. We've seen 10, one of the worst performing this week after coming back online after its $200 million capital raising. That stock down 16.5% in the week today. And Sundance Resources down by 11.4% after its capital raising. Aquarius Platinum also hasn't had a stellar week at all, down by 13% in the week today. It did give an update at the UBS conference and it does look like it was a sobering update and the shares have been sold off quite heavily this week. On the flip right. side though, right. Takeover Talk's been fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Julia.